Hi friends, it's Faith from Firesign Tarot again. I don't know what's up with me. I think I went so long without reading cards. And we're just getting through the full moon and I'm just getting downloads. And it's like, source won't leave me alone. <laughs> it's like, sit down, read cards. Somebody needs to hear this. Okay. All right, I'm gonna tip down and we're gonna get started. Heavenly Father, Mother Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Archangels, thank you for coming down and being with me this evening. Please help me have the clarity of mind and the peace of heart to convey the message for whoever needs it this evening. Thank you for the blessings you have given me. May we pass these blessings on to those who need to hear these messages tonight. Go the distance. Oh, message in a bottle. I just go with the flow, guys. I just go with the flow. This one bounces out without showing itself. We will just do two. One more. Come on. Okay, show yourself. Come to the edge. I didn't see it. I saw it flip and I didn't see it. Okay. All right. Go the distance, number 47. Endurance, strength, the long haul. Number 15, message in a bottle. Communication, a sign, a cledon, the ancient name for a spontaneous oracle delivered innocently by the speaker, pointing the way to your highest good. That's random. Huh. I like random signs in the universe. 36. Courage, taking the leap of faith, overcoming fear, and accepting risk. Okay. Okay. What do you don't like about this end of this table? I don't have a lot of room. I either need a bigger table or a bigger house. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. What does the crystal power have to say? Five wands. I stand my ground and look for peace. Queen of Cups, I trust my knowing and follow my heart. Six of Swords, I know that peaceful times will come. Bottom of the deck, the fool. I am guided and protected on my life journey. Okay. <laughs> just, just, we're going to be with the heaven and earth. Heaven and earth. The darkest deck I own. I love it, but it, I don't know, brings some vibes to the table for sure. I was just going through the decks. So I'm like, what am I going to read with tonight? Oh, this one. We'll do this one. Six of Wands. Sorry, Nine of Wands. Great strength. Another card of up and ready for the battle. All right. Strength. This 
Sometimes following your heart takes a great deal of strength. Seven of Pentacles. I'm being told to stop. I'm being told to stop. Six of Pentacles. Somebody's taking a trip. And I don't mean a physical one. I mean a spiritual one. Here's the good news. I, f I feel like it's going to take some time and it's going to take some endurance. Probably going to be some arguments. Like people suggesting don't do this, don't do this. You're going to have to have your guard up. Strength, endurance. A leap of faith. Sometimes it takes a huge leap of faith to go across some rough waters patience with the situation somebody needs to hear this just go with it faith just go with it um a little bit of clarity i hate to be so general but it's not giving me anything super specific eight pentacles Nine Pentacles. There's that Queen of Cups again. Queen of Pentacles. This will be fruitful. Whatever this is, this will be fruitful, friends. This will be fruitful. Huh. The fool. I am guided and protected on my life journey. Six Pentacles. Balance everything equal. Abundance. Oh my. And the Emperor. Yes. I like it, guys. I like it. I feel like you come out on top, but it's going to take work. Two cups, temperance, ten cups. You know what? I like this. This is awesome. It could be a physical move for some of you. talks about the long haul five of wands it stand your ground stand your ground go the distance I feel like what what of it may be burdensome burdens will be lifted
message in a bottle. It's like you'll get a cue when it's time to go. You'll get a cue. Like an aha moment. Possibly from a mother figure, older figure in your life. This feels like encouragement. She shows up again over here, like at the end of the deal. She's like, I told you so. I told you so. It's going to be rough. It's going to be rough. It's going to take patience. But this is saying to take the leap. Like you won't regret it. Great happiness and joy will come. Everything will mingle together like it should. This Two of Cups suggests that you may not be going on this journey alone. Maybe you'll meet your life partner on this journey if that's what you're looking for. I mean, it could be. Like I said, this is very general. I'm trying not to get too case specific. But I see it working out wonderfully. I see new experiences, new friends, new possibilities. This emperor it could be a promotion at a job. Hmm. A change in the wind. Hmm. What does a change in the wind have to do with this? It does speak of a shift. A sense that unseen change is being initiated, preparation for a storm, awareness that your plans are not on firm ground, feeling a shift, uncertainty about which direction the winds blow. It's human nature to yearn for certainty and resist change, to want the world to remain consistent like a zebra's stripes, yet nothing in human experience is black and white nor will anything remain static. The one thing guaranteed is change. Now is a time for transformation as outer conditions are temporarily moving out of sync with your desires and expectations. Stay the course. Remember that even storms serve to clear the air, scatter seeds, and nourish the soil for better things ahead. Life is about to get interesting. Anticipate with curiosity as you wonder what is coming on the shifting winds. The unknown is where the magic lies. Wild, guys. Oh, wild. Nice. Nice. You know, I don't like being bad news, Betty. I like giving good news once in a while. I really do. I mean, okay, let's go back to card 15. Because that talked about something unexpected. I'm going to read card 15 in its entirety. I might, meet, I might read all the oracles in their entirety. I don't know. This is only like 13 minutes long. We'll see how it goes. Just so we get all the messages. Just so this reaches everybody. Oh my gosh, where is 15? <clears throat> Communication, a sign. Cledon, the ancient name for a spontaneous oracle delivered innocently by the speaker, pointing the way to your highest good. I feel like, okay, this feels like motherly love. This feels like motherly advice. Spirit sends you signs when you ask for them, when you believe you will receive them, and when you allow yourself to become fluent in language of symbols, oracles, and omens. 
They may come to you as a bird flying by, a logo on a truck, and a song on the radio. Expect confirmation that you're pointed in the right direction. Keep your eyes open, for someone might say just the right thing that will give you the answer to your query. Today, your message is this. Spirit hears you, and the reply is favorable. Forty-seven, go the distance. Why not? Why not? Endurance, strength, the long haul. To, be, to, to bring your dream to life, you must think long term and pay no attention to the fluctuations in your current experience. Joy and disappointment commingle with opportunities, so there's no need to fear the occasional obstacle. Life is not a sprint. This card is a reminder that you have endurance, strength, and fortitude to carry you all the way. Remain true to yourself. Your authenticity alone will keep you in alignment with the, with the energy of miracles. What is yours will never be withheld from you. Remember that. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, guys. Oh, wow. 36, come to the edge. I love this deck. Courage, taking the leap of faith, overcoming fear, and accepting risk. Facing the unknown is the only choice you really have right now if you want to progress. It's okay to be afraid. Now is the time to take a risk that is not calculated. To feel the exhilaration as you ready yourself for the leap of faith. Spirit is present. So let go of fear. You are called to express your true self. Listen to your heart and soul, not your head. Come to the edge and discover that you can fly. You must step into the unfamiliar so that you may find your miracles. There's a change in the wind. Why not ride the wind? There's good things and blessings coming from this. It might be rough, but it's going to be worth it. It might take a minute, but it's going to be worth it. You might have to work, but it's going to be worth it. Okay. It's been about 20 minutes, give or take. I don't know who this is for. Somebody needed to hear this. If it's not yours, okay. If you know somebody who it might belong to, send them this way. Know that you're loved, guys. Be blessed. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with me. I will catch you next time.